Hi everyone, Chef Mark with Appliance Factory Fine Lines, and I'm here with another Dial a Chef question. Send those questions about cooking or appliances to dialchefmark at gmail.com, and I'll make sure to respond in video form. So the question is, what's a creative way to make shrimp cocktail? And I think there's no better way than using sous vide. For those of you that don't know, sous vide is a really neat cooking process. It's actually been around since the 70s, but it's really only caught on in the last few years. And what I have here is a sous vide machine, and it does a couple of things. It circulates water, it heats water, and holds that temperature. You can find these online, uh, and they start at about $75 and go up from there, depending on the features. So there's an impeller that stirs the water, reduces hot spots, and increases the, uh, decreases the cooking time. And then, of course, it has a heater in there. For shrimp, I like 137 degrees. And the nice thing about sous vide is, regardless of what temperature you set it at, it can never overcook. Once it hits that temperature, it stops. And then as it cooks, and the longer it cooks, the better the flavor gets. Now I have my shrimp here. I have it in a freezer bag. Freezer bags are really effective uh, in heat as well. Um, if you use a regular plastic bag, it can melt. Ideally, you have a food saver and you can vacuum pack this really tightly. And if you get all the air out of the vacuum pack, you can cook it all day long. This is a pretty loose pack because I'm just cooking this very quickly. So it's okay if there's a little air in there because I'm only gonna cook it for about a half hour. And I've got a little ramekin in here that's gonna help weigh everything down. I'm going to let this cook for about 30 minutes if they're not frozen, but if they are frozen in 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the amount of shrimp you have, they'll be fully cooked. One of the keys when you're sous vide is to be careful what you add to the sous vide as far as marinades and flavors, because anything you add is going to really intensify in flavor, and there's no way to turn it off. So let's say you're doing steak and you add a piece of rosemary, your, all of your steaks could just taste like a pine forest. So be careful. My recommendation is to do the majority of seasoning when it's done cooking. But with shrimp cocktail, there's a couple fun things you can do. I like a little sprinkle sometimes of Old Bay or a couple dashes of Louisiana hot sauce if you're doing Cajun style. And sometimes I'll even add half a can of light beer to that and you get kind of a nice Cajun boil flavor and you can do that in just a few minutes. And that's a great way to, to handle shrimp. The great thing about sous vide shrimp is if you serve it hot, you gotta peel and eat shrimp. If you serve it chilled, you got a shrimp cocktail. I like to cook the shrimp with the skin on, so I buy my shrimp deveined but skin on, and you get a lot more flavor from the shell. I'll show you how to peel the shrimp here. Okay, it's been about 45 minutes and my shrimp are perfectly cooked. You see I'm wearing gloves and it's for a couple of reasons. One, the shrimp are a little hot, so this will be a nice little heat berry. And also, I've got a little bit of a shrimp allergy, so uh, it's just being extra safe. Here we go. So here's our shrimp. You can see there's quite a bit of moisture that's formed in the bottom there, and that's just the water that comes out from cooking. You'll see the same thing if you're working with shrimp or chicken. Any protein, you'll have some water at the bottom. And these are nice and hot, and I'm gonna serve these hot. Uh, I'm gonna do a, sh a hot shrimp boil. Here we are, this looks great. Now, there's a couple different ways to peel a shrimp. One of the ways is I like to have the tail of the shrimp in the crook of my finger, and I just pinch not pinch with my nails, but pinch with my fingers. That'll pop the back of the shrimp out. I grab and I pull from the bottom, okay? And that's a great way to peel the shrimp. It takes the tail along with it. Some people like the tail on, and if you like the tail on, because it makes a nice handle, I hold the entire shrimp by the tail, and I rotate underneath. And it's a little trickier when they're cooked. And again, peel from the bottom, okay? And there you go. So either way, you end up with a beautifully peeled shrimp. And I'm going to serve that with cocktail sauce, squeeze a lemon, and I think we're ready for our appetizer. Thanks for tuning in. This is Chef Mark with Appliance Factory and Fine Lines.